Here is an example how to create a very realistic dynamic uh, cable in SOLIDWORKS. It is not actually too hard to do, it's just a couple of steps. First, create an assembly. Here we have an assembly with an arm controlled by two axes. And uh, set the gravity down. Uh, create two motors, one of each axis. And control the motors by segments. Uh, here we have a nine seconds of different movement in different directions. Uh, and then test uh, the arm that it moves OK. Uh, then we define a help geometry using two rods, two different parts. Uh, set the material. And uh, I use um, a coincident mate on the sheet metal parts, on the help geometry there. Under the analysis tab, there is a friction setting. And adjust the friction setting so it looks good. So you need to run the simulation a couple of times, go back and forward to see a good movement so that the help, the rods swing back and forward in a realistic way. And this is really the base, the foundation for the animation. Then go to Animator and import the motion positions. Uh, create a new part. Uh, a spline in a 3D sketch and use the uh, the help geometry in the sheet metal part the three endpoints or starting points and then use the position in the middle of the swinging rods just one point and then the three end um, positions and that's it the spline should turn black if it should be fully defined um, you can hide the helping rods, the help geometry, and uh, run animation to see it looks looks okay. Now it's just a matter of going into the spline and make it into a solid. Um, use I use uh, multi bodies in this case, uh, sweep and um, twist around uh, along the path a couple of turns, and also do an extra wrapping around it. It takes a little bit longer time to update each frame, but it looks very realistic. And then just say the animation is at the rate to about 30 or 50 frames per second. And that's it. Have good fun making realistic cables.